All right, looks like it's time. Let's go. I just have to uh, figure out YouTube. <laughs> it's giving me warnings that the, uh, what is it? Let's see, the resolution's not right and that the audio bit rate's not right. I don't know how you fix that though. Really don't know. Probably in the settings, right? That. Let's see here. If I, if I go to video, yeah, it says output scaled resolution. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Well, we'll see if anybody pops in and if they do, we'll see if things sound and look right. But hello, we're trying out YouTube. We're trying out streaming on YouTube. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, it says stream status is good, but okay. Let's let's just not worry about it unless someone says there's an issue. Oh, I'm a little bit stiffy today. It's uh, allergy season. But let's see. We're gonna work on a few different things today. We're gonna do actually. We're gonna pour two different things of resin um, because. First one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a tray. I'm gonna be doing a tray and that doesn't need to go in the pressure pot. Um, but I need all 100 milliliters of resin which fits in one of the mixing cups for the other stuff we're working on. So we're gonna pour the tray first and then set it out of the way. Um, and then we will work on the actual dice. So we've got the tray. And then if I have extra resin from this tray, I'll just put it in here. But I think, I think it'll all work out. There's a few little spots in this tray that I didn't quite get. I ended up with some little flecks of things in here, which is unfortunate. This is, this is a, a tray I've been working on. It's, it's almost done, but it's, there's one screw that's just sticking out ever so slightly. So I want to just get that covered. Um, so for this tray, we're going to be doing some copper flakes and then like some brown and some dark red kind of swirled in there a little bit. That is the plan anyways. Um, we can start getting all of our stuff set up for the other stuff too. Um, I need to figure out what I want to do for the Patreon D20s this, this last month. So I need to make four D20s for the folks that are at that level in my Patreon. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I was, so, I've been kind of theming it to the month, and so this last month I did tarot-themed dice. So I was thinking I could, like, copy this design, which is, like, copper with red thread in it, and then some fun glitter and things. But I don't know if I want to copy a design. I've done that for the past two months. I don't know if I want to just copy a design or if I want to do something new and different. Um, I do want to do a different color that I've done. Because let's see, January... January? Yeah, January it was white and purple. February it was yellow and red. March it was kind of purplish again, kind of blue and purple. April, April, well, is going to be somewhat neutral colors. And so we're going uh, going into May. These are gonna be the May dice. Do I want to do, cause I mean, I feel like this is kind of orange and red, which, you know, I mean, those colors would work. Um. It's not purple or yellow, which is what I've really done before. But do I want to just do something new and different? I kind of want to do something new and different. So we could do something that's like green or blue or red. And we could do something. Yeah, hmm. Or just lots of different colors. Let me just think about the designs. 
I think I kind of want to do maybe like something that's like blue and green. Although I've ended up with lots of blue and green D20s, just random ones. I don't know if I need to make more in case they don't turn out. Um, but maybe some like blues here. Let's look at let's look at all of our paint chips and figure out what colors we want to do. So I've done I did white with some of these purple flowers already, and we're going to be using these purple flowers today for a commission. And that's the other big thing that we're going to be working on, is, uh, some commissions. It's just going to be like clear resin with a little bit of shimmer and then these bright purple flowers. They look blue on camera, but they are purple um, in there. They should be pretty. I like the, the those flowers are great because they dry and they're still like super bright and pretty. Most flowers, like, you dry them and the colors get all muted and things, but those stay, like, bright purple. Um, and it's still very unhappy with the uh, video resolution, but I don't know how to fix that, so. Yeah, don't know how to fix that. I guess YouTube's just going to be unhappy. <laughs> I think that's probably something that I needed to set before I started streaming. Um, okay, so we did a set of yellow dice. We said did a set with purple. Then we did a set that was like like blues and purples again. Let me just say. And then we're doing one that's kind of neutrals. So I think this month we could do like a red or a green or a blue or like, hmm, I think I'll probably do something kind of rainbowy for June. That, that makes sense to me. Um, we could do something like kind of pinkish, I guess. But I think, I think, yeah, let's go something, let's do something that's green and blue, I think. Let's do something green and blue. Um, have I done a mica drop yet? I don't think so. Okay, let's do like a mica drop with some green and some blue. Let me see. Ooh, this could be pretty. Ah. Bright shimmering blue that could be really pretty and then maybe we could pair it with like some green ink in there maybe i'll do both like a mica drop and a like reverse petri so oh i need the highest i need to make more molds so I could really use another D20 mold that is facing downwards. That's okay. We'll do it this way. I think we're going to end up with probably the uh, lowest number being the prettiest face, but I think that's okay. So let's do this. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to put some ink into the bottom of the mold and then pour resin on top of that and all the ink will kind of disperse up and around it. And then we're going to put some uh, resin that has a bunch of mica in it on top and that's going to kind of sink down and do some cool swirls as well in the other direction. Um, let me just figure out what colors I want here for those. I kind of like these. I could do like, I could do some kind of like different blues and then like maybe a, the dark blue, dark blue, uh, mm, that could be nice. Yeah, I think, I think we could work with that. Um, I worry that maybe it's not, I don't know if there's enough contrast there though. 
That's the thing. That's the thing. Let's see if anyone has said anything in the Discord. No. Just want to make sure things are working, quite honestly. I want to make sure that the chat is working, too. That's something that I'm a little bit worried about, is that the chat isn't going to... Oh. Yeah, I want that. see all of the stuff okay I think it should work all right do we want hmm. Hmm. I mean I could also go for something that's like risky and do like blue bright blue and bright orange I'm sure I like this orange better go for opposites I really like this blue that's just a nice blue. That's a nice boulder. There's lots of options here. I think I do want to stick within the blues and the greens, though. But I don't know if I want to... I could also do something with, like... Do I have, like, a... Use kind of like that... And some of this, and some of this. Do those colors together too. That could be fun. Maybe with some iridescent flakes. And maybe some foil of some sort. Ooh, how about just the, this pink and this blue with some gold foil? That all kind of add some yellow in there. Or you know what I should do is I should decide on one of the cards that I didn't get to and make something based on that for that month. So let's see, what did I not do? I didn't do like the, actually, this could be kind of fun for maybe like the magician. Um, ooh, or I could do that and then like the yellow shimmer to it. That could be fun. Uh, I feel like if I'm going to do the magician, I should have like four colors though. Because there's cups, swords, staves, and coins. So we, maybe something for like the staves. Would brown be weird? Would that be a weird color choice in there? I could go for like a really deep, ooh, I could go for like a really deep red. Or like a kind of a wine color. That might be kind of fun. That's kind of weird colors, but I kind of like it. That might be, ooh, or I could go for like a copper or something or a gold. What's a good copper color? Koshi? Yeah? Why are you meowing? Yeah? What's going on? I don't know if you can hear the kitty cat outside the door. These are all kind of dark. Maybe we'll go for like a gold or oh i think a gold's nice i think we could do a, like a gold what <laughs> yes you're very insistent maybe the sparkle gold Or I could go for like an orange. Oh, I kind of like the orange. I think I like those colors. These might end up a little bit weird. We'll find out. Um, but let's put 
these back into the, oh, actually, I'm going to put those there, should we do it with some foil, should I just, should I do that with some gold foil, uh, iridescent flakes, I think iridescent flakes, because we're going for like the magician. I just don't know if those colors are like a little bit too odd. Oh, wait, I have all of these interference ones too. Let's... I like that gold better. But we could do like an interference something. Do I have an, I have an interference? Do I have an interference? I could do like an interference pink, I suppose. Nah. No, I think I like those colors. So we're going to stick with those colors. Well, we're trying something a little bit different than usual. So we've got our... We could do some glitter in there too. I could do gold glitter. That could be an option instead. Is it the orange? Do gold glitter? That's not bad. I don't know why Koshi's meowing. She's usually not that interested in what I'm doing. She usually just kind of hangs out. Uh, what's up, Ippy? Oh boy. I feel like it's definitely a different feel. This feels maybe a little bit more classy and this feels a little bit more carnival, maybe. Do I want to go classy or carnival? Let's go carnival. I could always add some other glitter in there if I wanted to. I could do some blue glitter. Mm, I think that might mix weird. All right, that's fine. Maybe I'll add a little bit of the ow, rainbow glitter as well. Ooh, actually. Mm, yeah, might add a little bit of the rainbow glitter. All right, cool. Um, let me pull these down. So we've got Scarlet. We've got Robin's Egg Blue. We've got Orange Yellow. And we have got... Green, yellow. Cool. Cool. I'm glad that we have that figured out. Hopefully those turn out in a way that I like them. That is, I feel like, the concern if I get more people that want D20s for, with the, like, the Patreon stuff is that I make, like, you know, 15 d20s and then I end up not liking them that would be a bummer that would be a bummer um okay let's start getting our things into our mixing cups I think um I'm gonna grab mixing cups for everything so I I'm gonna be doing a couple of commissions today I'm gonna try something out with the commissions um I'm trying out videotaping them um so not just streaming but also recording to put together like a little a little highlight reel <laughs> of working on people's commissions and then I'll post that on on YouTube so that they can see um, so the commissions we're gonna work on today are this tray which is gonna have our copper and our brown and like and then some swirls of the brown and this like deep red um, and then we are working on two sets of dice that are clear with a little bit of shimmer and then these bright purple flowers. I think what I want to do first, I think maybe I want to get the purple flowers into the molds first. Oh, also since it's a commission, I um, make keychains. And I was thinking that these might be, these little bottles might be cool with the flowers in them, so. I'm just going to try and get them to stand somewhat upright. So that I can 
actually get them to stay in the pressure pot. Ah. Get them in here. Okay, so yeah, let's get the let's get those flowers into the molds, I think. I think that will be our first port of call. This does mean that I'm going to try and figure out the camera here though. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let me grab my flowers. I got my little camcorder. Oop, what did I hit? There we go. Nice and out of the way. And I got everything in frame. Oh. Yeah, I... I figured that things would be maybe a little bit odd with moving my streaming over to YouTube. We'll see. Hopefully things will kind of, you know, to be fair, as I get used to streaming on YouTube, hopefully I'll get better at it and figure out what all these settings are where it's unhappy with me for the video and sound. I'm not quite sure what it's... Uh, what it needs. Um, but also I figured it'd be slow because people wouldn't realize that I've moved. Or be that, I don't know what the word is, loyal, I guess, to move with me. Just because it's like, I, I, yeah. I don't know if people really care that much. All right. We're gonna film this. So I'm gonna take a bunch of individual flowers and put them into the molds. Oops, I do need to remember to put the nice side down because I have the lowest numbers at the top. So I usually try to put like the nicest side, whatever that is, towards the highest number. And we'll just continue with that. I think I should have enough flowers. I've got quite a few. I'm trying to... The D20 always has, is hard to get things in because it has such a small little opening for so much dye. <laughs> yeah, just like I'm gonna... Is that in anybody's... Uh, I'll move this off to the side a little bit. You guys can see it, but it's not uh, too in the way, I hope. All right. We've just got our little stem left. And I think we're going to start kind of breaking some of these apart because this is like a big chunk of flour. Although, would this fit in the D20? This might fit in the D20. Let's see if I can fit one of these in the D20. Big, big difference in size. But again, it's hard to fit things in the D20 because it is such a small opening for such a big die. Ooh, I think we got it. Excellent. 
this can be better suited for somewhere else. Like maybe a D10. Mm, it might have been smart to do these with the highest number at the top so that I could put these in with doing the like the stem part first as opposed to the flower part first. I was doing it this way because I figured things would float and I kind of wanted the I kind of wanted the um, uh, if they float to end up at where the bottom of the die is, I guess, the lowest number. So it kind of looks like they sank instead. Some of these little tiny flowers, we're going to put them over into our D4. Because you can never fit very much into a D4. And we've got some single flowers, so we might as well put them over here. Same goes for the other D4. So I, for commissions, I do... Um, 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 a little bonus D4 and a little bonus keychain. Hmm. I do want to get music figured out. So, YouTube has a kind of surprisingly nice uh, audio library. Like, it's much nicer than I thought it would be kind of. Um, so it's like, oh, there's actual music here. Um, uh, and so I could probably use some of that for like stream music. Usually I don't use music like during the streams. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to just because I've got kind of a janky computer setup. So I don't know if I, uh, music will actually work. I don't know if I can play desktop audio because I'm on a Mac and then also I'm on like an old Mac. And so Streamlabs doesn't actually support the operating system that I'm using, like this version of Streamlabs. So I'm using an old version of Streamlabs which is why I no longer have like chat and um, like notifications and stuff pop up on screen. It's because they, they, they don't connect. Um, so really I, I need to go and look and see if my old uh, laptop, um, just over here for a minute. See if my old laptop is, uh, would be usable maybe for streaming instead of the computer that I'm using because I don't know that I can get music to work on the computer that I'm using. I'm dropping things right and left. Cool. We've got all of our little green bits. But yeah, I do also just want to know if chat's working. I might have to go solicit help from the Discord or something. Oh, you know, I should put a link to the Discord in my uh, stream description. That'd probably be smart. Still getting and figuring out what all I need since I've moved. It's like when you like move somewhere and you're not sure what furniture you're gonna need because it's just a slightly different sized place that you're moving into. And you're just like, I 
think my couch is going to fit there, but I'm not 100% sure. And it's like, yeah, the couch fits there, but also you're like, mm, I could really use an end table now, too. Oh, hi, Ty. Okay, cool. So, I, yes, thank you for showing up because I wasn't sure whether chat worked or not. I was just saying, I'm like, hopefully it works. I don't really know. I might need to go bother people in the Discord. Um, is... Is there some, anything funky about the video or audio quality? And I ask that because YouTube keeps telling keeps telling me there is. That like the video resolution is wrong. And I think I must have just... I might probably need to change the settings when I start streaming. Cool, there we go. So that's those. Yeah, I'm working on a couple of commissions, um, and then Patreon dice. Alright, let's put some of these flowers in here, if we can. Grab some little kind of uh, heart-shaped... Um, bottles. Oh, excellent. They do fit in here. And then I'm going to fill them with a little bit of resin as well. And then these will be the keychains. It does look slightly blurred, grainy. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how to fix that, though. So I went to video, output, scaled. I wonder if... Okay, I can use custom. 1920 by 1080. We're gonna, we, we might mess things up. Let's see if this fixes anything. Let's, okay. Yeah, 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 that's the problem. Let's see if, um, let me see if that changed anything. I did go in and just change the output. Um, but I don't know if that's going to change things. Output. And then also it was telling me my audio had something weird. Let's give, let me give it a second to see if it, see if it goes again. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, is it any better now? That's a different cat screaming outside my door. Why are all the cats screaming outside my door this morning? I had a different cat screaming out there, uh, few minutes ago and this is not and this is now a new cat that's screaming out there audio sounds fine all right I, or at least it sounds normal <laughs> I know I don't have the best audio here because I'm using my webcam for audio I was like, oh, at least I'm aware of that, though. I do know that part. Yeah, I think these would be nice. Looks the same. All right. Does it have, um, did it, does it give you the option to go up above 480p, though? That's also kind of what I'm, what I'm wondering is, like, did the options change? Probably not, since I've already started the stream. I could 
could always try restarting the stream and see if it fixes things, but that seems like it would end up being um, confusing and a pain. <laughs> Just judging by, cause like with Twitch, you need like a title and you can start streaming, but YouTube has a lot more like little finicky things to actually start a stream. Like you gotta have a, um, it doesn't give an option. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. I'll take a closer look at it after the stream. Cool. We've got our purple flowers here. Got a few extra purple flowers so we can toss in places as needed. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at it after stream. Set these up and out of the way. Cool. So we've got our flowers all put in there. Let me get this moved off to the side. So the I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with doing a tray today. Cause I'm going to be pouring resin twice. Um, so I'm going to be mixing up and pouring resin for the tray, and then I'm going to be mixing up and pouring resin for the dice. And that's because the tray is not going in the pressure pot. So if it starts to cure in the time that I am, you know, mixing up the stuff for, I guess I could do it in either order, except that then I'd have to go get the pressure pot figured out in the middle of the stream, and I don't really want to do that just because I need to go fill the air compressor and it's loud. So we're, we're doing, we're doing the tray first. So let's start getting, I think our colors all put into our little, our little cups. Um, so we're going to be doing mostly clear resin with some copper flakes. And then we're going to do kind of like a little dirty pour that's going to be clear resin with some copper flakes and then um, some shimmery brown and some kind of brick red, dark reddish red, red, red. Um, and I think that'll, that'll be good. Pour. All right, let's set this off to the side for now. So we're gonna do, hmm, I don't know how much resin it's gonna need. I'm thinking about 20 milliliters and then I'll probably end up putting a clear layer on top. That's a third cat. I think. Um, but, cause I think the foil is probably gonna end up sticking up a little bit. Um, because it's just going to eat and some of it's going to float and stuff, so it's going to be a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to want another layer of resin over top. Um, so I think 20 milliliters is probably going to be enough. Might be, 40 might be better. So I think we'll make, should I make 40 milliliters or 60 milliliters? Hmm. I think I'm going to make... We're going to make 60 milliliters of resin. We're probably going to do about 30 milliliters, I think, for this. Um, can't get the lid off. Should I film putting the stuff in the cups? Is that... Is that good content for for the video thing? So if I'm doing about 30 milliliters, I'm gonna be doing about 30 that's just purely this and then 30 that's over here. So five, 10, or I mean 15 and 15. 
that was gonna be about 15. Actually, so we'll make about 20 of that, and then we'll do about five of each of these, maybe if that, probably not even that. So it's not gonna take a lot of these colors. It's pretty going into the little cups. And then I don't need very much of this red, I this red brick oxide color. A little bit goes a long way. I really don't need a lot of it. And yet I'm still adding more. And then this, we're just going to do a whole bunch of this. I need to break that up though, because that's all in one giant clump. And it's not going to mix very well if it's all in one giant clump. It's just all going to stick together. So you just pull this apart a minute. There we go. That's flatter and looking better. I just don't want it in like a bunch of layers because the layers just continue to stick to each other. Ugh. So I am I am curious from a watching perspective, um, uh, uh, like YouTube versus Twitch and what people think. Cause I am still, I'm not like a hundred percent sold on YouTube. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, I think it's going to work better for me, but we'll see, we'll see, you know, down the line, whether it's actually working better for me or not. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if YouTube requires a more established audience as opposed to Twitch where, you know, people are looking for specific material. Because like Twitch, you know, people will just be like, ooh, I want to watch arts and crafts. And they'll go search up the uh, makers and crafting stuff. And I don't know if there's much of that on YouTube. I don't know how the algorithm works. This is a whole bunch of layers. Eh, it's all stuck to my finger. All right, we're definitely gonna have enough copper foil here. Definitely gonna have enough copper foil. That's gonna be plenty. So I've got these, I'll move them out of the way. Cool. And that's gonna be all of our, our colors for that um, in our, our black painted black tray. I actually grabbed, an, I have another tray here too that I was going to do, I want to do like a galaxy bottom to it. You like Twitch, um, let's see, so you're there to watch people live versus random channels you enjoy on YouTube. Hmm, okay. Wow. I think I must have a cat chasing another, oh, I know why a cat's chasing another cat upstairs. Fun. All right, I think Fitz is probably harassing the, the other cats again. All right, so we've got our colors there. I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to get all of our other things here into um, some mixing cups. Okay, so it's, it's more convenient because you're used to going to Twitch if you want to watch live content. I don't want to watch a lot of live content. I don't watch a lot of live streams. So I don't go to Twitch a lot. I'm more, I'm honestly more likely to watch a live stream, I think, if it's happening on YouTube. Um, but it's hard to find streams on YouTube. I went searching. I was like, can I find anyone streaming arts and crafts on YouTube? And it's, I think you kind of have to be 
following someone almost to know that they're gonna go live or they're, they are live. So it's more it's more built for like the like individual. I think it's more built for people who want to watch like individual streams as opposed to browse um, a certain type of content. So I don't know that that's what I need, but but we're gonna try it for a little bit. We're gonna try it for a little bit. See how it goes. Maybe I like it. Maybe I won't. But it, it's one of those things too where I'm trying to figure out whether it's gonna work better or not in the long run too. Because I think maybe, I don't know. There's, there's pros and cons. I do want to figure out, so I have a VOD, VOD, VO, yeah, VOD channel that I've used for all of my Twitch streams, um, where I've posted, you know, all of the, all of the streams that I've done, um, over there. But I figured that, you know, these streams would end up on this channel. So I need to, like, make a video or something announcing that I've moved over here, I think, for the people that follow that channel. I know, I don't know, I'm still, still deciding how I want to deal with that. I have a bunch of... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, the, uh, you only, um, the only notice you get is if you are following someone already, you get told they're live, but it's harder to find people just randomly. Which is nice is you can browse people who are live. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, like I think the live streaming on YouTube is more about like individual streams, whereas you can you can search types of like live stream content on Twitch easier. So I guess it depends on how you want to be found to a certain extent. That said. Live stream content lasts longer on YouTube because, you know, I, all of my Twitch streams are on YouTube and that's where people can watch old streams because that's where all my VODs and stuff are. Um, so, I don't know. It's, um, what am I doing? Probably going to need about, hmm, I think what needs that actually for that. Yeah, I think they are built for different content. But again, I want to, I think I want to move more towards edited content. Um, like still do live streams, but I feel like I don't want maybe live streams to be my focus as much anymore. I think I want to do more edited stuff, and I love live streaming, but I'm just thinking about what I enjoy watching, and I watch a lot more YouTube videos than I do streams, just personally. So, you know, I'm, it's one of those things, too, where it's just like, that's what I enjoy. <clears throat> so I think I want to make stuff that I would enjoy watching. Um... Even though, you know, other people love live streams and stuff. Um, how much am I making here? Probably about 30 milliliters. Yeah, because we probably need about 35 for these. And we just want a little bit of all of these. Might need more of that. I'm not sure. Let's do a little bit of this glitter, though, too. <coughs> Ugh. Actually, you know, I don't probably don't want too much of this because I want to be able to see the colors. So I think we'll call that good. Oh, well, I have a little bit of this though. This stuff's nice. Just a little bit of shimmer. Ever 
so slightly. We're going to use that over with the purple flowers as well. Cool. So. How am I going to have enough resin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hope I have enough resin for this. <clears throat> it's going to be close because I'm going to need 60 for the flower ones. And then these are probably going to take in between 30 and 40 milliliters of resin. Because these take about a little bit less than 10 milliliters each, probably. Yeah. So it's going to be close. You also watch far more edited videos than you do live streams, so it also depends on the creator. Some people you don't mind... Uh, as they're interactive with watchers, enjoyable to watch. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that's... Oh, let me get all these into the mixing cups. Others are a bit dull. And you'd rather watch the edit they do after. I I just like being able to pause things. That's something I've realized. Is like, I don't like going to movies and movie theaters either. I would rather watch a movie on, like, my computer then go to a movie theater <laughs> because I just, I like being able to pause things in the middle and go grab a snack and use the bathroom, come back, you know, half an hour later and continue. It's like my, my attention span doesn't work for this. Yeah, that should be plenty of that. Um, I will sometimes watch like VODs though. I will, I mean like I will sometimes watch I'm actually probably more likely to watch a um, like a live stream after it has ended and I can pause it and go do stuff in the middle and come back than I am to watch a live live stream. Something I have realized. But I do I, I do understand the appeal of live streams too. Like I like live streams for the interactive element of it. Like that's something that I've seen and really like is like the um, live streamers that have a lot of audience participation, I guess. Just, just you know, there's polls that, def you know, will affect things that happen on stream and that sort of stuff. It's fun having that lot, like that immediate feedback that's kind of fun. Like, I, I understand the appeal of that totally. I'm just also not creative enough to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's get some nice shimmery yellow. Um, I don't know. I think... I think it's going to be easier for me to figure out how to get better at YouTube videos because I watch more YouTube videos too. Because like with the streaming and stuff, I don't think I'm very good at streaming. <laughs> like I'm not the most exciting streamer out there for sure. Um, but also I don't watch a that's why you enjoy Critical Role. They take into account break times and have a timer that can tell you breaks at around... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that is that is appreciated. But also, just like... It's... If my brother walks into my office and starts having a conversation with me, it's nice to be able to just pause something instead of being like, Hey, I'm in the middle of watching a live stream. Come talk to me in two hours. I don't know. I like, I like the flexibility of, of pre-recorded content. I like the interactivity of, of live content, and I like the, the flexibility of pre-recorded content. Um, okay, cool. We've got all of our, all of our stuff. To be fair, I haven't been able to watch Critical Role live in quite a few weeks now, though. I used to watch Critical Role live all the time. I need to catch up on that, actually. I'm in the middle of the latest main campaign uh, episode. 
Um, okay, let's see here. All right, so we're gonna start with the tray. I think we've got everything that we need here. We've got our red and our brown and our copper foil. Am I missing anything? Let me just think about this for a second. Am I missing anything? The, um, the little bit of shimmer that I'm going to do with the purple flowers, I'm figuring I'm just going to add it to the mixing cup because I'm going to need like 60 milliliters. I don't think that's going to fit into one of my other mixing cups. Um, so. Just get any vitreous out of here. Oh, I'm fun. It's so nice. Let's see. You interact. You're informative, and you don't just do nothing for an hour. <laughs> I don't show up sex appeal. I mean, I could. Don't. No. Um. I'm me. Oh man. I. You know, the thing is, I do wish that I had more energy. <laughs> Which maybe sounds weird because I know I like talk the entire time I'm streaming and stuff. But man. Sometimes I wish I could be a little bit more of a character. I feel like I used to be so much less worried about making a fool of myself. I'm just too worried about making a fool of myself now. I think that that's part of the reason I would be a bad voice actor for like character stuff is I'm always so self-conscious about looking like an idiot that I'd be, I'd be terrible. You, you have to look like an idiot if you're doing voice acting. Because you're literally just standing there by yourself for, well, depending on what it is. But, I'm, you know, sometimes you just have to stand there by yourself and just make a whole bunch of pained noises. Depend, like, you know, make, make 30 different, oh, I'm getting hit noises. Like, oh, oh, mm. <laughs> Just... It's just awkward. It's just weird. It's, it's out of context. Like, in context, you know, you go and you play a video game, and it's great. And you're like, if it didn't have any of these noises, it would not make sense. I remember watch, we, um, for the voice acting class that I took, we had to go and watch or look up things for the different areas that we were covering. Um, and there was some, like, superhero TV show. I can't even remember what it was. But there was no, like, exertion noises. There was no just, like, 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 noises of, like, moving things or getting hit or anything like that. I'm like, this is so awkward. This feels so empty and devoid of life. What is going on here? Why do none of these people ever move their bodies? Gonna have fun with what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think I think we are ready to pour the tray. So let me grab ah, let me grab my safety equipment. That is a whole bunch of gloves. I don't need all of those gloves. I don't need all of those gloves either. There's two. Oh. Is there a good way to like clean these out on the inside? Cause like it's definitely kind of oily and gross in here. Probably like a damp cloth or something. Maybe a little bit of soap. Don't want to mess with the filters in here, but that's probably more information than you needed. But yeah, it's a uh, definitely a little. Arlene Gross. Oh, hey, did you ever figure out the, um, either PayPal or, um, uh, Amazon or whatever tie for the emote? Okay. I'm gonna put this on, so I'm gonna be a little bit muffled the rest of the stream. Mm. Oh, I found out! I'm very excited. I'm, I hope that it, it's good. <laughs> I found out that there's like a um, once a month like art show thing that happens in my town for like local artists. 
and it's it's basically like a, a, a local artists tabling event type thing um, and it's like free to do stuff it's a large cheese ball container holds four boxes and you can have ah that's nice that's smart all right let me let me okay pour some resin pour resin crop oh i need a i think i'm gonna do 60 milliliters here Oof, is that gonna be too much should i just do 40. hmm trying to start up paypal's just gotten more complex and all info you found is like for older iterations of the site yeah uh, if, if 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 paypal doesn't work like we can do like any other thing that works better for you i'm not set on paypal i just want to make sure that you get paid for doing work for me uh, okay that does remind me though that i need to figure out whether i where the i don't know okay to do 40 or 60. I think we're going to do 60. If we have leftover, it'll just be a little bit thicker. I don't know. We can, we can pour it into something else. I have some other things we can do. Um, okay. So let's do 30 and 30. I might need to order resin again. I use a lot of resin. <laughs> All right, give me just a second. I will be right back as I pour this. There's our resin. Yeah, I've got some harder. Do you, do you 60 and have extra for... Oh, well, so, no, that's the, that's the, um, um, that's the thing, though, is I'm doing ones now that don't need to go into the pressure pots that I have time to mix up another batch of resin. Um, so the, I think these might end up, if there's extra, it'll go towards some um, phone grips, which also can't fit in the pressure pot. Uh, hardener. Which is fine. If there's extra, then I, I have stuff I can pour it into. Let's get this all, all mixed up. You just got a new deep pour two to one mix resin to try out. Ooh. That does remind me that I have I have like three different kinds of resin now. I really should use um ooh. I bet this would work well with the other resin that I have because it's a little bit thinner. That's what I should do, is I should use my thinner resin um, for the stuff that I can't fit into the pressure pot. So I end up with fewer bubbles. Ooh, this is a good idea. Well, obviously I'm not doing that right now, but that's a good idea for later. Maybe I'll try that with the, um, uh, the galaxy tray that I want to make at some point. Alright, I need to stop mixing resin in, or bubbles in. I do have, so I went and um, literally yesterday while I was um, uh, sorting through all of the, my random mystery dice, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, it feels like you're going to sneeze and then you don't. So I went and sorted through all of the my random mystery dice, my unsanded, you know, just miscellaneous dice that I have. Um, that are mostly singles and like a few from a set and stuff. I, I actually went and divided them up by t like, 
you know, the D20s and the D12s and the D, you know, whatevers, and put them in their own little containers. So they're now in, t in the uh, thing behind this thingy, in their own different drawers, which is going to be nice because then I can actually see which ones I do need more of. I could really use more like D2s, I think. I don't have a lot of D2s. But it's made, it's a lot easier to like actually go, okay, what do I have in my D20s? Oh, but where I was going with that is I still have a lot of dice in there. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too worried. But yeah, I'm I I think I am gonna start adding some more. I had two different orders for for the raw mystery dice um, just recently. Th those are always fun too. It's it's fun like putting together a set that's all different. I like making the sets that are um, every die is different, but like they kind of have a cohesion to them. Yeah, there's one die in particular in there that I think you're gonna like. I guess we'll see, but there's one die in particular in there that I'm like, hmm, this is a really good dirty pour. <laughs> but yeah, I should, I, I do want to start adding to that more. I have some really ugly ones in there. I'm waiting for the day when someone puts in the description that they want my ugliest dice. Because man, I've got some in there that I'm like, hmm, this is obviously a dump mold. There is definitely lots of colors going in here that do not match at all. Alright. There's the streak in there. Oh yeah, there's definitely still streaks in here. <laughs> but no, the mismatch sets are really fun. Um, and that, that's how I've ended up doing some of my mismatch sets, is I've gone through all of those containers and I've gone, okay, what, what kind of goes together? <laughs> Give me all the ugly plus cat hair dice. Uh, I don't know if you ended up with any cat hair or not. I didn't. I didn't notice any, but uh, you never know. Never know. I really should polish up the cat hair dice at some point, though. I don't know. I just want to use them as like an example for something. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them as an example for, but I really should sand and polish them. <laughs> I think one of the benefits of YouTube, maybe, is going to be when I'm working on commissions, I can link people to a specific stream that I'm going to do where I work on their commission. Okay, this is looking better. Is there any streaks in it now? I'm not seeing any streaks. We might be good now. I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's start divvying this up. I want make a specialty offer for pet memorial dice and use them for an example. To be fair, that that, that was so I did post them on social media when I made them, um, and there was kind of two responses to them, and I agreed with both of them. The first one was that's cursed, and the second one was that would be really nice as a memorial thing for for people's pets. It's just like. Yeah, both of those are true. Both of those are definitely true. Okay, let's go down to 40. Uh, 
I was debating making them and then using them as like um, my my example whenever I need to show off like the size of jumbo dice. Just use always use them as my example, like my, my example of a normal set of dice. Normal set of dice, yeah. Is that gonna be enough of that? Let's just find out. And I might need more resin there just because. Yeah, I might need some more of the copper resin. I don't need a ton of this one. A little bit more. I definitely ended up with a quite a bit of copper foil. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of copper in here. Probably more copper than I need. Ooh, boy. Oh, I should probably turn the uh, thing on. Is that in your guys' way, or are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, that's a lot of copper. Just gonna add a little, just a little bit more of the clear resin. It's not gonna help much, but we'll add it. It's very coppery. Oh man, a little bit of this red goes a long way. Like, man. I don't know. This red oxide pigment is so potent. I always end up using more than I need to. I probably added more of the brown mica than I needed to as well. Good, good. I thought it was kind of nice doing like one shimmery and then one sat satin. Is that the right? Is that what people use when it's not shimmery? I thought that was just kind of nice. Alright. So, here's the plan. Um, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to... You know, I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm going to pour more resin into these. I might not end up using all of this resin. I might turn some of it into, like, foam grips or something. But I am not liking how much copper there is compared to the amount of resin... So we're going to kind of try and thin that a little bit. There's a lot of copper, but also I need some of that for our dirty pour. Because we're going to do kind of a dirty pour in like half of it almost. <sighs> Let me flip this. There we go. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I'm gonna... Actually, there might be... Might be enough there. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit of extra of this, and then we'll use the extra in some foam grips. Because... I, should, I want to make sure that I have enough. So we might as well use it here. So here's the plan. We've got our coppery resin. Oh, you can kind of see the screen here. See what I'm doing. We've got this here, and so this one you're going to put our red and our brown into and do a dirty pour, which is where you really need to stop letting your roommates find out about things regarding your craft works. You don't want to know what he just brought in. Um, I mean, now I do. Now that you've said it, I do. Now I'm really curious. 
I ended up with a whole bunch of art supplies yesterday. I'm going to uh, bring some of them to a friend's house um, for dinner tonight, though. Be like, hey, do you guys want these? Because I have plenty of art supplies. Do you guys want some art supplies of your own? I don't need all of them. I don't need all that brown either. Got our red and our brown. So, got that. But I'm gonna do our copper kind of over on one side for now. I'm gonna probably pour all of that in, I think. Why not? I'm gonna move this. Uh, no, that's fine then. That's fine where it is. Yeah, I'm gonna pour all of this in. I needed a single can of paint primer for a base coat on 3D printed minis. <laughs> I mean, but also thanks, like, hey. Free paint. But yes, no, that was that was me yesterday. Um, my dad was cleaning out a bunch of art stuff. And was like, hey, can you use this? I'm like, um, I don't know. He's like, perfect, put it in a box for me. <laughs> so now my, my kitchen table is just covered in art supplies, quite honestly. Oh good, I'm glad that I used all of this resin. I'm definitely going to need it. I think I might add some clear in here. And I think I'm going to end up using all of this resin. I think I'm glad, I'm glad that I did 60. I think I'm going to end up using all of it. I'm just going to use all of it. Paint, wood stain, glazes, enamel so much. Oh man, that's like all sorts of fun art supplies. You could do all sorts of stuff with that. start I want to make sure I get it into the corners oh I hope oh man I forgot to seal this with UV resin I hope this doesn't leak the other trays that I've done so far I sealed the corners with um, UV resin so that if there was any holes or anything it didn't leak I forgot to do that with this bad view for cam hands in the way yeah I realized, kind of. Um, I was trying to figure out a better spot, but if I put it on this side, it's also going to have hands in the way. And if I put it right in front of me, it's going to bluff you guys. So, and this is where it's ended up. And I figured that it was better on this side than the other side because I'm right-handed, so my hands would be even more in the way if I put it over on this side. So we've got some of our stuff there. I'm going to spritz this down. We're going to try and get rid of as many bubbles as possible because they're going to show up with the dark background. And now we've got our brown and red. I'm going to try and get things kind of, we want it all swirly with the brown and the red. I 
Excellent. Maybe it looks a little bit funky at the moment, but we're going to try and spread it out a little bit using the age old tactic of moving the tray around a bit. Pretty much just the clear with the uh, copper in it left, so I'm just going to scrape it in. That's fine. And then I'm, I'm going to scooch it back and put it more at the corner, and you should be fine. The problem is that it's not going to get the whole thing. Um, uh, it's close. Yeah, we can get it there. It's it's just barely in frame because my tripod's not very tall. another camera angle though. Once this video goes up on YouTube you, you'll be able to see what I'm working with here. Man I sure hope I think I think we're gonna be fine but man I sure hope the corners don't leak. Man I didn't I forgot. I'm gonna kind of swirl some of this stuff out. Just trying to get it so it covers the entire bottom. Because um, then it, it'll be able to flow there. Um, that's what I found. Because if I... There's a spot where there's like a big gap. The resin's not going to flow there. But even if I have just a little bit of resin in a spot, very thin layer, the other resin will flow there. Uh, yeah, I know. It's nice for video editing. I know. Yeah. Like I said, it's like, oh, yeah, we can have another angle. That's that's not no problem. I'm always down for another camera angle. I need to figure out. I like like I said. I think I'm going to be more interested in getting better at um, videos uh, and like edited stuff. The thing is, I've I've started to enjoy editing. That was part of the reason I put off doing uh, edited stuff is because I just hated editing. But now that I've actually started to kind of enjoy it a little bit, it's just like, oh, I think I can do this. All right, let's spritz everything down again. Oh, I think that's going to be kind of pretty. I think it's going to be kind of pretty. Yeah. Yeah, and we're definitely going to do another layer on top of this. It's just clear. Um, that will be for... Uh, just to, to seal in all of the bits of, of foil because there's definitely foil that's just kind of sticking out a little bit and I don't want it to be rough on the surface. <clears throat> so this is this is just the first layer. Add a little bit of swirl out here. Yeah, perfect. I think that's going to be great. We've still got a little bit of brown and red left. Um, move this back over here. Let it cure here. Um, still got some brown and some red left. I will, I think, grab... Oops. Don't need this. That's all poured. Move that out of the way for now. Uh, let me grab my phone grip. Uh, mold. <coughs> in my throat. Oh, you know, I was thinking of doing these with like a white background. What if I did this one with like a red background? That might be kind of cool. Why not? Let's do this one with this red. I'm going to do a red background. We'll see why not. I 
don't know if people will want these phone grips or not because they're going to be a little bit clunky I think these ones but also they're just kind of fun <laughs> so maybe people will get them even though they're like at even though they don't need a phone grip, they're just like, oh, that's fun. I'll have that to play with. I should figure out some, like, cool resin, like, fidget toy type things. That would be fun. Oh, I bet I could make... Oh, they're not in fashion anymore, but I bet I could make resin fidget spinners. That could be really cool. Oh, wait, that's, that's kind of a fun idea. To be fair, that's not like my favorite kind of like fidget toy type thing, but I bet other people would like those. Even though they're not in they're not in vogue anymore. I don't think anyways, I don't know. Do the youths still like fidget spinners? I love saying the youths just because it's just so funny to me. It's just like I am old. I am one of them old people. Even though I'm not actually that old. It is still funny to me because like every once in a while I'll be interacting with like a high schooler and they'll be like, hey, what school do you go to? And I'm like, um, um, <laughs> I'm 10 years older than you. So, <laughs> been out of high school for 10 years. Look at some of the brown. Here with this orange one. We'll do a nice blob of oops, the brown to go with the nice blob of orange in here. I'm just doing like a whole bunch of blobs of colors. No. You don't want to think about how long you've been out of high school. And we'll do some, and then we'll do some brown maybe in here. Yeah, I'll do it all along one side. We could do like a flower or something. I think you're older than I am. But yes, it is. It is funny to me though. It is funny to me though when when people are just like, oh, what high school do you go to? I'm like, well, ten years ago I went to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set these I think out of the way. Just completely out of the way. Yeah, there's still a spot there. And there's a thing sticking out. Hmm. Um, yeah. Let me. I'm gonna set these over here. Down. 39. Yeah, you're 10 years older than me. It's been probably 20 years. Okay. So excellent. We've well, we've still got some clear here. Now we can move on to our um, the the actual dice. Cool. So the dice. I think we've got all of our materials, so we can actually go ahead and um, just start mixing up some more resin. There is a cat here in here, though. I don't need that. All right. We're going to make 100 milliliters of resin this time. Ooh. Move my chair out of the way. Uh, okay. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. We're going we're gonna to mix up some more resin. So let's see. Resin.
This stuff I'm not as worried about getting some air bubbles in here. Ooh, my sleeves. Oh, so I did, did kind of want to um, talk about like what are my plans for this YouTube channel? I think I talked about it in Discord a little bit. Um, but I'm still kind of figuring it out a little bit. I'm kind of just making what is easiest for me to make at the moment. Um, which is just like, kind of like speed paints, basically. And some tutorials. But I think I want to do more like entertainment stuff. So like some resin challenges type thing. Um, I I think at some point here, I've, I've just been busy because I started a new job. Um, I'm still getting settled into that. But I um, I have some things that I want to try as colorants and resin. So I was it might be fun to just like try those out and see what happens. That could be a good video. But whew, those take more planning, I think. I have to actually like figure out what I want to do. I was debating at one point doing like um, more than just resin stuff, but I think that might be a little bit, like, I feel like that might be fine every once in a while, but I don't know that that's gonna, it doesn't feel as, as, um, much like a niche, I guess. I was thinking of maybe doing some, like, behind the scenes business stuff, because, like, I've been watching those videos, I've been watching, like, you know, the videos that people have posted about, like, here's how I set up my Patreon, or here's how much I make in a month, or here's some, like, YouTube tips, because I've been doing YouTube for two years or whatever. So I was thinking maybe some videos like that, but I don't know, I, I, I don't want the focus to be education too much, I don't think. But I do want to start figuring out, if I'm not going to do purely education, like tutorials and, and stuff, like, what do I want to do for entertainment? How do I want to phrase things as entertainment, I guess? Maybe that'll force me to be more energetic. <laughs> I feel like that's something that, that happens, just as people get more confident on camera. You just get more challenges, tutorials, maybe reviews of other crafts dice in exchange for reviews of yours, like dice trades and stuff, yep. Uh, behind the scenes stuff, recommended supplies, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I think those are all on my, my list, um, and I've already reached out to a couple of dice makers about doing some sort of collab maybe at some point for YouTube. I don't know quite what we're gonna do yet, but, you know, they're down. Um, Yeah, it's just actually like scripting things out, figuring out like the order that I want to present things in. I actually have to like sit down and, and do stuff. For like the tutorial, the tutorials are fairly easy for me because I just film what I do and then I can figure out what I want to say later. And it's already in order. It's just like, yep, here I am doing this and then this and then this. Um, I usually make some notes about like just like special notes, like 
Hey, you want to make sure you do this well, like, right after you've mixed up, mixed up the resin, because you don't want it to be super goopy. <laughs> yeah, I need to figure out. I don't know what I would do for that, but I'll have to figure it out. <sighs> that might be a ways down the line after I actually figure out a little bit better how I want to film things and stuff. Just, like actually get into like a little bit of a groove of figuring out how to format things. I think once I have a format kind of figured out, I'm like, I, you know, you don't want everything to be cookie cutter, but just knowing, hey, do an intro, do a setup, do a, like, having that kind of format is going to be helpful to me. And I don't have that figured out. I haven't, yeah, really, I haven't figured out kind of for tutorials, although I think I might want to switch things up a little bit. We're gonna try. I have a couple of tutorials I'm in the middle of working on. I just need to film a couple more things. Um, we'll see. We'll try some, out some different stuff with the editing. Um, but uh, yeah, just I don't know. Once I figure out like a format that I like, I think things will get a little bit easier. I just have to figure out what that format is. I probably should just go and watch some other people's videos and see, not even art videos necessarily, but just videos in general, and actually kind of see how they arrange things. And like what works and what doesn't work. What do I, what do I personally like? It's like, do I like seeing the finished product at the beginning? Or do I, is it better to keep it for the end? Like. Just figuring out how I wanted it. You're doing a collab with someone who just opened a shop making masters. He offered you a, a seven set to show off his masters in a video and to find out if they hold up in a tumbler. Oh, okay, cool. That's fun. That's cool. I was thinking maybe like a challenge type thing where we all have the same prompt. And then we go off and we make our own set of, of dice based on it and then come back and see what we did the same and what we did different. I'm just like, that could be kind of fun. Um, you can recommend a few channels that you watch to get some examples of things. Sure, sure. Uh, maybe DM them to me in like Discord or something. But yeah, I'm down for, for channel um, uh, recommendations. This is getting really, really close. Let me just make sure there's no, there's still some streaks coming off of here. Definitely a few streaks in there. All right, let me just scrape the sides and the, the bottom one more time. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. And then, so, like, maybe, like, get everybody into, like, a group call type thing and record that. And maybe, like, record, um, you know, setting up the prompt and then be like, okay, bye, guys. And then maybe going into my plans for it and stuff. And then we can all hop on the call again at, like, the end and, like, show each other what we made. I think that's kind of a good format. I, I think... I might actually, if I want to do that sort of format, I might go look at like some like Try Guy videos or something. I think they've used that sort of format before. Where it's like they all meet up at the beginning, discuss what they're going to be doing, go off and do their own thing, and then come back and at the end and, and kind of discuss. But again, I, like I said, I'm not sure on f how I want to format things yet. Once I get the formatting figured out, it will be pretty good, I think. It will be pretty easy. I just need to know all the steps in the process. That's one of the things that's kind of held me back. It's just like, if I don't know all of the steps in like doing something, I have trouble starting it. So like I want to know what all of the different pieces are going to be before I start. But 
mean, I've been making I've been making Minecraft YouTube videos, and I haven't been doing that as much as I should. And it seems to be working out all right. I should start on the next one of those. Maybe I will no, Sunday. Maybe I will tomorrow. Also works for those who do videos, can record the opening and challenge and go off and do their... Yeah, 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 yeah. Other people could also do their own video, too. I think it's all mixed. I was just trying to see if there's any more little little streaks in here, but I think we got them all finally. Just make sure it's not a whole bunch on like the. Yep, I think we're looking good. Excellent. All right, so we wanted to have about 35 milliliters, I think, because we want about 65 for over here. So let's do like. Almost 30 in here. I'm going to take this out because I think it's going to get in my way. Alright, give me just a second here. I want to get these pretty close. So we're going down to about 70. Maybe not quite 70. We're going to add just a little tiny bit into all of our, all of our things here. I do think that the Minecraft videos is part of what um, has convinced me to do art videos. Because I kind of forced myself to start doing Minecraft videos because I want to get better at editing things. Um, cause I've, I, what, one of the reasons that I've avoided doing YouTube videos is that I know I'm terrible at editing. Um, but I've, I've kind of started enjoying it since I've been doing the Minecraft videos. I'm like, all right, I think I can edit some other things now. <laughs> I think I can actually make some things and start editing them. And then Patreon was also one of the things that forced me to, uh, actually start... actually start um cool that's i think that's gonna be about the right amount let's get these all mixed up see how they look see if we have enough iridescent flakes in here yeah we've got plenty of iridescent flakes i think yeah that'll be good um yeah so i think i think i'll enjoy it i think it'll be fun do some more oil painting. That's unrelated to anything. That's unrelated to YouTube or whatever, but I want to do some more oil painting. I, um, got some little canvases. I was thinking it might be fun to do just to, like, paint some, like, individual little potion bottles, maybe, and then figure out how to digitize them and then turn them into, like, stickers and things. So I think it could be kind of fun. Do, like, a series of because, I mean, that's like the stickers that I send with with my uh, orders as is. Is I do I have like my logo sticker and then I send potion bottles. Little potion bottle stickers. But I think it might be fun to do some actual actual painting, like um, traditional painting. And it's been a while since I've done oils, but I really enjoyed it when I did it. I've been avoiding it because, like, they just take so long to cure. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but the cats can't get to them. I guess maybe on top of a bookcase. I'm sure, I bet I have a bookcase I can put them on top of. That'll probably be fine. Alright. Let's do our Patreon exclusive D20s. Oh, 
to be mainly our clear with our iridescent flakes. Oh good, I think we'll have enough resin. I was kind of worried. We just wouldn't have enough resin, but I think we'll be good. Oops. We don't spill it everywhere. I'm going to get it almost all the way to the top. Hopefully the mica doesn't have too much trouble getting past all the iridescent flakes, because, boy, there's a lot of them here. left over in here. That could be fun for an extra dye of some sort. I'll take that big piece out. So I actually want a little bit of room at the top because we're going to add all of our colors. I actually want it to be in there a little bit. All right, there we go. And then we're going to add our colors on top of that. I think I'm going to start with our white, our sh sparkly, shimmering white. I think that'll be the easiest to start with. And then I, I feel like this one's going to be the least heavy. So maybe the other colors will help, you know, it sink. And I'm just going to go down the line. Hopefully there's enough. That is something I've noticed when I'm doing these like mica drops is that like the D20, because it has such a small opening at the top, sometimes it has a little bit of trouble having things sink. Right, let me do blue next, I think. Like there's just not quite enough space for to get enough in there. I haven't even added the red yet. Um, all right, we'll see how they go. I think I like the colors though. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the colors once they were all together, but I think I like them. I'm gonna let those sit for a minute. Good. I'm not seeing a ton of air bubbles in our tray over here, which is good. All of our reds and our browns are kind of swirling strangely. That's okay. All right, we've got a little bit of extra resin here. We'll use that in like a bonus dye, maybe like a D10. I think I need more D10s. Um, let's move on to our flower dice. Okay, so let's see here. Let me move. Oh! <sighs> What a great tripod. This is why this is this is why I'm using this camera though. I I got a nice camera recently, which is very exciting. But I definitely don't want to get anything on it. This one I'm I I'm trying to avoid getting things on it, but I'm less worried about it. Okay, let me move all of our flowers back over. So yes, I've definitely gotten resin on the um, on the uh, tripod and stuff for this the little tiny tripod that I have. To be fair, I don't think this tripod is built for um a, like a camcorder i'm pretty sure it's built for a phone 
but I broke the like actual phone adapter part. It broke. So now I ended up with this. All right, so we're gonna add a little tiny bit of clear, or of clear, of shimmering sparkles. Just a little tiny bit. Like, I just want to turn this resin ever so slightly sparkly. Just a little bit of shimmer. And we'll stir that in. I think that's the right amount, actually. Yeah, just a little bit of shimmer. Perfect. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Just a little tiny bit of shimmer in there, a little bit of sparkle. We're going for kind of subtle here. Um, we want the focus to be the flowers, for sure. So let's, uh, let's show pouring some of this resin into our flowers. I'm glad that this is going quickly because um, definitely need time for all the air to travel down into underneath the flowers. That didn't make a lot of sense. That made more sense, I think, in my brain than it did out loud. We don't want to wait to pour these. We want time for air to rise above these flowers because, woo! Poured that way too quickly. I gotta pour slow with this, otherwise resin just gets trapped on the inclusion. Alright, and then I'm gonna do a close up. Yeah, I'm not filling these up all the way. I'm going to come back and uh, fill them up more. Bloop. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go back to over here. All right, let me get some of this resin in that I got everywhere. Get it actually into the mold. That might be helpful. All right, let me let me start on our next set here. I need to fix the um. I actually bumped the the keychain. Change the camera angle a few more down. There, that's a little better. Hopefully I have enough resin. I think I should, but I'm just worried. <laughs> It always, it takes like a little bit more for commissions because I do a few extra little dice and things. So I think I had about 65 milliliters, which should, you know, account for all those little extra things and stuff, but ooh, fingers crossed. All 
All right. We're going to do the keychains last. To be fair, even if I don't get resin in the keychains, it'll be good. Like, they've got the flowers. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm trying not to, like, spill a bunch of extra resin everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily going the best, but I'm trying. Okay, cool. I think we're going to have enough resin. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. But I do need to let these sit for a second. And, uh... Let the air rise to the surface. Not the flowers, the air. Not you, flower. Yeah, definitely need more in our D20. Cool. Alright, let's put this down. Oh, there's a few here that need more. This is what I meant about want to do these early so they have time to sit. Because there's all sorts of bubbles rising to the surface. Okay, cool. I want to get the, uh, I know they're going to float. This is, I knew they were going to float. I knew that going in. But still, they're floating. <laughs> Alright, so let me fix the, um, these guys. Oh, they're doing okay. So these are just a couple of little, I'm going to turn them into keychains. They're little, little bottles. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of the resin in each one to both kind of hold the flower in place and they'll tie everything together. Um, I, I'm figuring it might also help with like the structural integrity of the bottle. Ooh. I'm trying not to get it outside of the bottle. It's apparently easier said than done. that to rise to the surface. Yeah, it might take a minute to get these, get the resin in these as well. There's a lot of flour to work through. Also, I've gotten resin on... Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to have to add more resin to that as well, which is fine. Which is fine. We've got, honestly, plenty of resin over here. Anyways, I was having a conversation yesterday about um, the, like, flashing on uh, my dice. Because I do end up with flashing. And basically, we were talking, and it's just like, maybe I should add just a little bit less resin to my molds. So that the lids aren't raised and they conceal better. It's just like, yeah, that'd probably be smart. That would probably be smart. But I'm so worried about them ending up with not enough resin. <laughs> so I just add like a ton extra. And then I end up, end up with a whole bunch of flashing, of course. 
just trying to help some of the air bubbles get out of here. I'm just gonna push down on all of the flowers, I think. Help get some of the um, the air out from inside of them. Cause I can definitely see air inside of them. But yeah, like especially with these, it's just like there's I'm sure so much air is trapped in the flowers. I can see the air trapped in some of them. I don't want to break the flowers though, so we're going to try and avoid that. Okay. Yeah, there's still air rising to the surface on these. So. Hmm. I'm just looking at the tray over here. I think it's going to be good. I like the colors. I think the colors turned out really good. And I'm glad that there's not like a ton of air bubbles in there. Um, I, I don't really see any air bubbles. That was my concern with the dark background and doing clear resin is that there would be a bunch of visible like little tiny air bubbles but i'm not seeing any so i mean that's great i'm quite happy with that well while the air rises there let's see how these are doing this one apparently is all of its colors seem to be moving i'm gonna add a little bit more pigment i think I'm hoping, I hope I'm not adding this where it doesn't need to be. Orange. It looks like a mess now, but I'm trying, I think I'm putting them in the corners that they were in before. That's what I'm trying for. I'm trying to get them into the corners they were in before. I don't want to put like the blue where the orange was or whatever. Cool. Oh, ah! oh no. There we go. I can add some more resin over there too. There's just a bunch of babysitting I feel like at this point. I just need to kind of keep an eye on all of the the different things and make sure that they have enough resin. Do you have enough resin? And fill things up as needed. Start, oh, I'll start adding a little bit to the lids. Now, get a nice, I'm going to block you guys for a second. I'm going to get a nice close up like this. Put some resin on one of the lids. Oof, it is, does not like being.
Good enough. to be nice though. Kind of nice and, and simple. we're getting close here um, I think we've gotten a lot of the air bubbles to the surface um, we still got a bit of resin here oh right keep doing these guys done here. This actually went fairly quick, probably because I uh, didn't have a ton of different things I was working on. I do think it takes a lot more time when I have a ton of different things that I'm working on at the same time. There's a lot more setup and stuff. Got to find a lot more pigments, materials. But with this sort of thing, it's just like, okay, I'm doing two sets that are exactly the same. So I just got to find the materials for that one design. These will be good. Um, little keychains. That one's looking pretty good. That one's about half filled, which I think might be enough. Um, hopefully things start to sink to the bottom there. This one will add a little bit more on. Because it's not, it doesn't have a ton in there yet. Alright. Yeah, I think that's good. I think those are good. So we've got some extra shimmery, this faintly shimmery resin. Um, these are all looking like they've got enough, probably. A few little air bubbles, but we'll get these popped. Let's put everything down again. these all onto my tray to go into the pressure pot. Help if I don't grab the part of my glove that is sticky. I'll wash my hands after this. I don't need resin on my fingers. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's put these over here at least. Oh, these ones. Mm. Let's put a little bit of clear resin on these, I think. Actually, let me set this up here out of the way. I think, I think my tray is going to be most out of the way up here for once. seems to be trying to like run away to the side 
I hope some of it sank in. in here first. That seems like a good plan. Get those over there out of the way. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of um, just little extra dice. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll do like a d20 or something and then I think a d10. I think I could use some more d10s. And sure. So let me get all of my, my extra shimmery stuff into here. We'll do another one of the, the mica drops with the B10, I think. The leftover, leftover resin. probably using too much because that is also something I've noticed is with like the other dice. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of this stuff to actually get the, the mica to drop. It really, really doesn't need a ton. Put a little bit on the lid. Starting to get a little bit more sticky. Things are starting to stick to my thumb. Ooh. I got a little bit of, of leftover. Um, well, like I said, we could do a D20. I think we're going to do a D20. I'm going to put our colors in the bottom maybe this time. We'll get rid of the rest of our colors here. These are red and our orange and our yellow. I don't know if I'll put the blue in there because I, I don't know if it'll mix too much. There's our red used. Get rid of the rest of our orange. There's not a ton of orange left. Excellent. Yeah, I think I want to do the blue, but I think let's do the rest of our iridescent flakes. Throw those in there. Why not? And then we'll use the uh, clear resin that just has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm hoping it kind of displaces some things. Ooh, maybe I'll do this and then I'll put the blue on the top. That might be kind of weird and funky. Because I bet the blue will sink. I don't know what it'll do at the bottom, though. Um, the, I, the reason I did it in this order with the color on the bottom was because darker things tend to feel heavier. So usually I try to put darker things towards the lower face. Just so people's brains will be like, oh, this will be a lucky die. <laughs> this die will be, be lucky. It will. It's obviously heavier on the bottom. Like, but it, it's not heavier on the bottom. Like, it is, it's, I try to weight my dice fairly, but I feel like it gives a better impression of them if I, uh, if I make the bottom darker so it looks like it's in your favor. Your brain thinks it's in, in your favor. I, I do weird little things like that 
when I'm like taking photos and stuff too, I always feel a little bit bad. I'm like, I'm just trying to make what I'm making look as, as good and appealing as possible. But I always feel a little bit bad when I actually like think about why I'm doing things. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm doing this as a marketing tactic, definitely. Um, should I do blue at the top, do you think? Or should I just continue? Should I do the blue at the top? Or will the blue be weird? Let's just do the clear. Let's do the clear. We'll do something else with the blue. Let's see how this turns out. Too fun. Um, we'll do another D10, but maybe the other kind of D10. I do want to make sure that I have enough resin over here for everything. We should be fine, though. We've got plenty of resin. I can steal some from this D12 if I need it. Alright. Yeah, it's starting to get thicker. We want to get start getting the lids on. Get these into the pressure pot. And I'll put the rest of our blue in here. I don't know, there is something I like adding to the, my, my dice singles. I like making d20s too. Like, don't get me wrong there. But I, there's something fun about adding to the dice singles because they're just so much fun to look through. I don't know, there's just something fun about being like, ooh, what is this? What is this? And then like trying to put things together in a way that looks good. I don't know, it's really fun. Yep. There's a bubble in that D6. Pop. There we go. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I expect to have a few, like little little bubbles that you can see that are just like trapped in the flowers themselves and stuff. I really should have done these the opposite direction. That's okay. Alright. I think let's <laughs> use more singles. Come on, big air bubble, get out of there. I see you, big air bubble. Alright, let's start getting our lids on things. Alright, maybe you can offer a mystery D6 set or D20 set. Uh, I mean, that's fair. To be fair, I, I, those are the ones that I end up using the most. Because, like... You know, with these, they'll end up in the thing. Whereas if I pour a D20 and then I really like it, it might just end up as a, a single D20. And then I send, like, an extra D6. What? Times and games asked to roll 2D4 or 5D6 or such. Could be neat. I have thought about, you know, I have thought about making some of the, like, um, health potion bottles. I do think that would be kind of fun. Oh, you know, I could just put that, let's put that in like a D2, actually. I was just saying that I needed more D2s as well. Let's, uh, let's, let's put this, the rest of the clear in there, in a D2. Aww. Maybe with a little bit of some sort of ink in there. Uh, let's do like a, let's do a nice green ink in here. Um, but no, I use the, I use the D20s and the D6s, so, ugh. I have thought about doing a mystery, uh, fate die, oops, one though, because I do have some extras of those as well, um, but no, the, so the D6s, I like to send, um, bonus D6s with all of my orders, um, I mean, in the commissions you get a bonus D4, because I have two different shapes of D4, so you end up with one of each shape. 
Um, although the second one's not always exactly the same as the order, because it's just kind of extra resin or whatever. Um, but, uh, so I, I use the D6s a lot, and then the D20s, if I really like it, usually just ends up being a, a D20 single. I did, yeah, just, eh, we'll just drop some ink on there and see what happens. I, I didn't want it to just be, like, clear with shimmer. I was like, that's kind of boring. <laughs> got something else there. I got just, like, a little bit of leftover resin, though. I don't know what to do with the leftover. I'll just throw it in here. Wait, what about the mystery sets? I'm not sure, um, what, what about the mystery sets? Even there what? Are you saying, oh, that I steal the D20s from them? Or, I'm not quite sure. Let me start getting some lids on things. I'm going to actually film getting some of the lids on these. extra die I guess you'll have to wait and see I guess you'll have to wait and see um, that should be shipping out I think I have yours in the best I'm shipping out today I might be shipping yours out Monday I um I split up I had like Seven orders to ship yesterday. Oh, it has a larger delay, so it's harder to interact. Mm, that's, well, that's good to know at least. To be fair, that probably would have happened on um, on Twitch too, because like as soon as I say something, I forget it, so I would have had no idea what it was in reference to, anyways. But yes, there is there is definitely a little bit more of a delay. I can I can see the uh, the delay. I have both my streaming software and YouTube open, just so I can keep an eye on things. out of the way. I think I'm done with this for today. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't remember what I'm saying from moment to moment. Glitter, a piece of glitter in here. Maybe it is just one of the sparkles. I thought there was a piece of glitter in here. It might just be part of the shimmer. It might be okay. I might do, 
I, I might, I don't know if I want to set it up with, so with the, um, the strings, obviously, you know, I want to, um, make it so that people can watch them again if they want to, like, they're still available. I don't know whether I want to move them from this channel and go put them on my old VOD channel. I don't think so. Um... Or if I want to just leave them up on this channel. Or if I want to mark them as like unlisted. And then um, uh, make a playlist of them. So that they don't clog up my, the, all, like my videos. But you can still get to them. I don't know if that would be inconvenient though. I guess if they're unlisted they'd never get recommended to people would they? I guess I'll probably just leave them up. To be fair, I am also, I think, cutting down on how much I'm streaming. Partially just because of the, the new job. Um, like, I, my, the time, like, times and stuff aren't all gonna work. Um, that's why I'm only streaming on Saturdays at the moment, because I'm working on Wednesdays. But I don't know, so my schedule's gonna be changing for the summer, and I still don't know yeah, having a channel for, I do have a, cha a VOD channel. I just, I'm, hmm. I'm, was, part of the reason I was switching streaming to YouTube was so that I could have everything in one place. And so that the, um, oh, I guess, I guess the VODs, I could, yeah, that's fair. I was thinking that, like, the watch time of the stream would help towards the, um, like the channel watch time. But I suppose that if people watch the stream um, itself, then that would be fine, and then I could move it over to the VOD channel. Oh, my nose itches! My nose itches! So I could stream on this channel and then move it over. That might be the way to go. It feels like there's a cat hair tickling my nose and I can't stand it. Oh well. Only the best safety precautions here. Oh, oh that's annoyed. I'll get that dealt with after I finish streaming though. <sighs> All right, let's start getting some lids on these. So yeah, maybe that's maybe I'll continue to put the VODs on um, on my VOD channel. It might get a little bit confusing for people just because it's. Obviously, this channel is not Human Lizaster. This channel that we're on right now has my, um, has the Alchemist's Attic logo and stuff. Like, I have it branded as, like, my shop stuff. So I don't know if, uh, that might get confusing. Although I could use that VOD channel. I don't, do I want to do that, though, too? Because I could use that VOD channel for both, um, stuff from this channel and from my gaming channel. Because I was thinking that if I do any like gaming streams, which I think I do want to do at some point, um, I might put those over on the Minecraft channel. Just because I, I figure people that are interested in arts and crafts might not be interested in the, uh, the games. Which is well, part of the reason that I've I haven't played too much, um, too many video games on stream. I've kind of avoided it. I was always, yeah, I, I put it off for a long time too. Cause it's just like, man, people are here for art. <laughs> They're not here for, for Minecraft. But I could go do some, some video game th streams maybe over on that channel. And then I would just post about it, like, on 
Discord stuff. I mean, y yes, that is what I'm saying. You don't have to be so, like, man, you're so demanding sometimes. <laughs> you don't have to be so demanding about it. Uh, yeah, that was that was what I was thinking, was I'll stream on here and then move them over to the VOD channel. And probably move both the ones from this channel and from my gaming channel over there. Alright, so there we go. That should be everything. Alright, I think I'm ready to go put these into the pressure pot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call this done for today. Um thanks for coming to the inaugural uh YouTube stream. See how it goes. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna probably, I'll leave this up for probably today on this channel and then I'll move it over to the VOD channel. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Um, I won't be streaming on Wednesday because I have work, um, but I will be back next Saturday, I believe. Um, if anything changes, I'll, I'll let you know in the, in the Discord and on Twitter. But, um, yeah, until then, have a good one. And your brother's worse. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.